Hey guys, Joe from STC Pod here with Bill. Yo. And just doing a quick little pickup video. Just uh, had everything in the bag here, so I just wanted to pull it out. Just gonna show you some things that I grabbed. Grabbed these the other day from uh, my uh, shit uh, thrift store. Just needed some uh, Nintendo DS bags. Oh, so I didn't have a blue or a white one yet, and then I grabbed this one for my uh, DS games. I think it holds like 20. You can just put them in the sleeves. We need like different colored DS bags now? I just like them. I don't what? know why. Yeah. What? Well, they're brand new, and, and whatever, man. They're cool. They're cool? I, I, people are saying stuff is cool. I don't know. It's the opposite of cool. Oh, we already saw this. You were going to give that to me. I Rolling grabbed them. Thunder. That's another one. That okay? That's definitely mine then, because that's what I had growing up. Rolling Thunder. You got Rolling Thunder right now. Anyway, here's uh, another game that I picked up. Bandai. We pull back so we can then can see what's going on. Bandai Golf. Shit game, but I didn't have it in my collection yet. Where is this from? From uh, local thrift stores. What local thrift store? What local thrift store? All right, and then next, nothing special, but I didn't have this in my collection. Revenge of the Gator, whatever that is. Boom. Robocop 2. Roboflop. Batman. Ooh. Is that Sunsoft too? Sunsoft, of course. Uh, Snoopy's Magic Snow. Oh, that's what you make all the time. <laughs> Magic Snow. Hey and Tennis. So yeah. these are all additions that I, I haven't had in my uh, Game Boy collection yet. So grab all that. Uh, all this. Uh, Haji. Joe Price. What is Joe Price? And does that mean it's expensive or is it cheap? It's Joe Price. That means it's... Back that ass up. What is this? DSi. Just the box. Just the box. Everyone needs a box. Oh, boy. Whoa. Never used. This is Joe Dash here. I was super happy with this one. I don't know why, but I think I'm going to start collecting each of the individual game systems. What? What's going on here? Pristine. Put that Joe head in the shot. <laughs> Shut up. Anyway, I was happy with this one because it uh, apparently hadn't been used. I don't know. It's ridiculous. Yeah, it's super clean. Okay, you got to tell me how much. Joe Price. What does a DSi go for nowadays in the box? I don't know. Come on. No surprise though, like it seems strange, like this, unless they took the time to really wrap this back up again, so no like, why would you bother, right? That's factory wound right there. Tell me the price. Joe price. No, seriously dude. Haji. Seriously. What is the price? What can I, if I look for this somewhere? I don't know, you're probably paying big bucks if you're finding it in that condition, right? No, but it's a DSi, so it's not really that desirable, you know. Oh, uh, but it's mint. It's in mint. M-I-B, as we say in the Transformer community. So what's it go for, and where do you find it? Uh, one of my local stores, Joe Price. What is one of your local stores? Anyway, so moving on. I don't see any sticker residue anywhere. Nope. Two more things. These are actually Bill's pickups, so you can talk, Bill. Okay, yeah, found this in the baggies at Value Village. Another uh, 360 controller, but this was inside of it. The uh, Wi-Fi oh, adapter. The Wi-Fi. So the controller with uh, with power. And uh, oh, that's all the price, because I'm not an a-hole. Five ninety nine dollars for that and that. So I thought that was pretty cool. Plus I had Rock and a 30% off card. Which, uh, since I had that, I found this thing out in the general population. Look at that. 
That's what you call a PS3 Slim. And uh, yeah, they had a price tag of $24 on this. It wasn't even in the glass case. So I thought for sure it wasn't working, that it would be broken. But uh, So I wanted to check it to see if it at least had a hard drive in it, see if it would be worth $24 bucks just for having a hard drive. So I was in the store. Get that, sh get that shit off. Show people how to take the hard drive out. Where is it? Look at this game expert here. I'm put it over here where people can see. There you go. You lift on it. Put your open that. Oh up. yeah, that's right. It's been so long. I forgot. Been so long. That's where you get at the screw. So right in the store, I pop this screw out of there, and then you're able to slide this over. And it inside was a 160 gig hard drive. So I knew at least I could uh, have the value of the hard drive if the machine didn't work. But I take this sucker home, plug it in, it not only works, there's like nine games stored on it. Like Little Big Planet 1 and 2, Street Fighter HD, some kind of Alice uh, Alice in Wonderland game or some shit. So what are you going to do, sell it or keep it? Uh, I think it's right for sellsies. Let me sell on that puppy. So uh, yeah, I got this sucker with the 30% off card, you know, around 17 bucks. 18 bucks. So there you go. That's cool. I think I did better. Nope. Tell me what this thing is worth. Nope. STC pod out.